Hello friends and welcome back. I am Farah Sheikh and in today's video we are going to learn how to look up the multiple matches and extract those values from the data set. So let's go and see the things in action. This is a very common question asked to me many times that for us how can we re look up multiple values like suppose we have country over here for India. We wanted to return all the matching records related to India from this data set. Let me tell you my friends that this is really easy, really simple. Just follow this logic and your game will be very easy. Now note my friends I am using the new calculation engine for Excel which can hold the dynamic arrays. So you will see the information getting spilled out. So in case if you are having Excel 2019 which doesn't support dynamic arrays then you need to select the range and then press Ctrl Shift Enter. So then you can see the results. So let's go over here and start constructing the formula. Equals to open parentheses India. Okay. Equals to the country India. So we have to find which is matching over here. Now let's press F4. Close parentheses. Enter. So now you have seen that we got the results trues and false. So what exactly is happening over here that India has been checked on each and every row. So wherever the value is true, it's meeting the record. So it is giving us the results as true. So the next piece of formula will be nested into if function. And we are going to say if, and this is the logic, the logical test which we have created over here, comma. Now if these records are true, then I need the row number for all the places where the country India is true. And to get that, it's very easy. You just use the row functions and you just select this rows. Now close parentheses and again close enter. So we don't have anything in the false, so I just kept it blank. So it has returned me the false value as false. Now if you see that over here, we have the row numbers starting from 2, 6 and 7. But we need the number to start from 1. The reason why we are getting 2 over here because the row is starting from B2. So I need to just adjust that value saying minus 1. So I got that as 1, 5, 6 and so on. Now this number is very important for us. Now we need to sort them into an ascending order. So we get that correct results. So I'm going to use another function which is called small. And we are going to use this formula which has been constructed over here array and the row number again we are going to use the row function and this will be the range again close parentheses minus one again enter so we got those numbers sorted one five six so we don't see this blanks over here and we are having correct numbers of one five six and then there's a num error so nothing to worry now we are going to wrap this again this function I'm going to use an index function and I'm going to take this range and make this as an absolute reference comma and now the row number you have guessed it right my friends I'm going to select these rows numbers so this row numbers will help me uh, to get that position of that records comma the column number this is interesting so I'm going to use the curly brackets and that will be my column number one and column number three yes one comma three close the curly brackets and now close the parentheses enter bingo so we got the records apple kiwi sherry and let me wrap this again into an if error so if error and this is the cell value and i'm going to press the pound key so it will automatically expand that dynamic range of array comma and if the values have errors then put it as blank enter voila so we got those records over here so let's test it out over here let's say saudi arabia wonderful and let's go and wrap this entire function into one cell but before that i will be converting my data into excel table so that will make my life a little easy command t and my table has headers yes absolutely right and i'm going to say this one as my data okay i love to give my tables correct name my data perfect 
So it makes me easy and understand that, okay, fine, I'm working on this specific table. It's a good habit. So let's go and say that equals to open parentheses. And this is my country, Saudi Arabia, equals to the column in the country region. So enter. We got that true and false. Now let me wrap this into an if function. If open parentheses. So this is my logical test. Again, I'm going to use the row function and look into the country row. It's not necessary that I have to look in the country row only. I can look that row in the fruits also. I just need to get the row number. That's it. So, and again, minus one, close parentheses, enter. So we are on to this location right now. So let's see, going with index match. No. We have to wrap it in the small function. Yes, we need to sort that one. So this formula, comma, and now we are going to use again that row function, selecting this column, and close the parentheses, minus one, again close enter. So we got that num, and this piece of formula, which is very important. So I'm just going to copy this one, and I'm going to wrap into index, and this is my array so I want to look into the entire table of my data comma and I'll just paste that construction of formula which we have created for the row numbers comma and the column number again we are going to say one comma three into that curly brackets close parentheses enter bingo now in case if you don't have that dynamic array you will just write this formula over here and just select the range hit f2 and then press Control shift enter so one last thing which is left over here i would uh, go over here and say if error and if my error is there then just return this as a blank value so this is all done so i'll just remove this stuff from here and let's see that how this thing works or oh, let me put it back because that will look nice what is going on so we can see in between the steps what is happening so let's say India so we got the results of India and USA we got the results for the USA perfect so let me go and add some new data so I have some new data over here I'm going to take this data and I'm going to paste it over here so now if you see this new dynamic array range has allowed me to spill that information earlier we don't have records for Saudi Arabia as watermelons now we have that and let's go and check for India again we have some new records now if you see that you have apples repeated twice so which was on the first row and then it was on the 11th row so we got that records also over here nicely being plotted over here let me show you one bonus step let's say that if somebody move this records from here you would just return all the numbers okay so let's try to do that one over here keeping this formula intact let me cut this one and I'm going to say if if this is equal to blank you know if this country is equal to blank comma and if it is blank then I need to return all those one right so I'm going to use the index and index and that will be this data set and the row numbers now this time I'm going to say a row and again I'm going to select the country close parentheses minus one and columns again will be like one comma three in the curly brackets okay because we are using array and uh, that looks perfect so you can close the parentheses if this value is true now let's go and do the action for the false and close parentheses enter perfect so now if we remove this value from here bingo we got records for all this stuff over here let me center align it so this will look nice and tidy let's say uae perfect 49 so we are getting this records over here and this is pretty amazing so this is how you look up the multiple matches and return them on the other area of your data set so if you remove it from here then you get all the records 
I would always recommend you using Excel tables because that will make your life really easy. Now, if we have the same piece of formula which I have constructed over here, if I go and add this same data, and let's say we copy it and we go over here and paste it. Now you saw that the records are not updated over here because it's not going to expand that range. So I would recommend you that guys use the Excel table so that the range will automatically get expand. Your formula will also get updated. The friends, those who don't have the new calculation engine, then of course you need to expand that range, go and expand that range again and then press Control shift enter and that should work fine so make sure that when you're constructing the formula you just select the sufficient range so you don't have to worry about it so that's how we look up multiple matching values from your data set and this all stuff we have done on the mac system so no worries my friends those are using windows even you can use the same way of constructing your formula and it will work fine so do let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about the multiple matching values do you have some better technique then please share with me there are many other ways also to look up the multiple matches but this is very easy for me and it's very easy to understand so this is how i use look up multiple matching value in my data set and with that bonus tip definitely you are going to love that one so till then take care and i'm going to see you in my next video see you soon happy learning bye